Hi, my name is Lou Ann Click, and I'm the Clinical Skills Learning Lab and Simulation Center Manager. I'd like to welcome you to the School of Nursing Simulation Center. Here is where our nursing students are provided with the training through simulation and other skills. Now we'll start our tour. And this part of our tour will go through the process of a patient arriving to the simulation center. As you see to, our, to my right, or behind me, we have two double doors, which is very similar to your emergency room doors. The ambulance can arrive, drop off the patient, and we can direct them either to our OB suites, or to our pediatric center, or to our same day um, center as well. Over here to my right, we have another control room, which is number two of our four control rooms. And if you'll follow me, we'll go on into our ER where we'll discuss our patients there. And as we continue the process of the patient coming in from the outside setting, we have our three bay ER trauma area. We have to our far left, which is our emergency room situation that can take care of a patient there, as well as our another area here for 3G simulation into our uniqueness of having a rotabed. Now the rotabed is unique to our school and I don't believe there's any other rotabed in any other school in the nation. Uh, our students can train on the rotabed and then we can also have nurses coming from outside hospitals that can come in and train too as well. Now that we've finished with the rotabed, we'll move on with our tour and the process of our patients that will continue on to the ICU, which we have two of. And as we continue our tour, we'll walk into our first simulation uh, ICU room, and you'll notice that it's quite noisy in here. Our patient here is being monitored. He's on a specialty bed, which is unique to our area because our students actually get to work with the beds prior to going to their clinical site. Over here, we have a uh, ventilator for our patient. We have his pumps, we have his monitor, and in the corner over here, we actually have an area for our patient's family members to stay with them while they're here in their stay of the hospital. And if you continue, we'll go on to our uh, touchdown station uh, where the nurse, nursing student can monitor the patients uh, through two windows. Follow me, please. And we'll continue our tour over here to our touchdown station. This is the area where the students can monitor both patients in the ICUs here. And if you'll follow me, we'll continue on down to our process of our patient as they go into their med surge as they step down out of the ICU. Follow me, please. And as we continue our process of our patient, once they've been discharged from the ICU, they may end up here in our med surge for bed uh, unit. Over here, we have another KCI specialty bed, which will provide uh, the nurses another opportunity to work with a different type bed in their clinical setting. They can manage the patient on this specialty bed, and then we'll move on over here to another simulator, which, is a, which has a specialty overlay mattress. This allows the students to monitor an overlay mattress and their patient as the moisture is removed from uh, their patient. Okay, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Carrie Sue Laureano. She is one of our simulators. She is a mid-fidelity simulator. She is the first patient that our first semester students uh, actually work with uh, during the process of giving medication and a post-op uh, scenario. Now what we'll do is once Miss uh, Laureano is well, or well enough to go home, the, the, uh, her physician will discharge her to her home environment. Now if you follow me on the tour, we'll see where Miss Carrie Sue may end up. In our home environment, this would be where Carrie Sue, Ms. Carrie Sue Loriano, or one of our other simulator uh, patients would be discharged to. In this room, we have a fully functional uh, kitchen, bathroom, washer dryer, and uh, living area for a patient. We also have a mechanical chair that is electric for our patients. Students in here would also deal with uh, assessing the room for safety issues for our patients as well as is this a, a good living area for them. Also in here we can use standardized patients. This room is also used as a debriefing room uh, so it has multi-purpose and there's so much more to see so please follow me.
And if you follow me over here to the left, we will come into one of our new OB suites. Over here to my right, you'll see that we have a nursery set up where we have several different styles of babies. And we have Noelle over here who has recently delivered her baby. And then we have our new Panda Warmer, which will provide best care for our new infants that are delivered. And if you follow me over here, we'll stop by the control room. And this is where our faculty would be able to monitor both rooms. Uh, over here in OB Suite 1, they would be able to monitor these mannequins and then over here in LB Suite 2 they would be able to monitor those mannequins. Follow me over here and we'll go on into our OB Suite. And over here in our OB Suite 2 we have a giraffe warmer which is our state-of-the-art warmer which you will find in the neonatal ICUs here in the local community. Over here to my left, we have Noel, our high-tech Noel, which is actively in labor as we speak. And here on her monitor, we can monitor her uh, delivery and also keep an eye on her neonatal uh, vital signs for her baby. And if you follow me, we'll continue our tour. In our multi-purpose rooms, the students have the capability of either being a patient or we can bring in standardized patients that will allow us to do uh, chemotherapy for a patient as well as renal dialysis. We can also use the mannequins as far as from simple uh, simulators to complex uh, simulators. Then we can also use Harvey who has a, is our cardiopulmonary patient simulator and he has real heart sounds from all over the world. Now if you'll follow me to our next room. And in this room, we have our pediatric unit. And as you can see, we have children in here. And they go from simple to complex. A lot of, a lot of the students enjoy and our learners enjoy being in this room. Now on our last stop, we're going to go to the Donna Block Center, which is our last of four uh, control rooms. So come on with me and we'll see our Donna Block Control Center. And our last room on our tour is the Donna Block Center. In here, the control room is where the faculty and the simulation specialists can observe the students. Over here to my right, uh, you will see the pediatric uh, med surge area and we can observe the, stu the students while they are doing a simulation and over to the left is our multi-purpose room and again they are able to observe simulation. Simulation can go uh, simultaneously. With that, that's the conclusion of our tour. I would like to welcome you or friends to come down and see us anytime here at UT Health Science Center School of Nursing, our simulation center and if you want more information please check out our website. Thank you.